Hey everybody, it's Romania Black. And so, <laughs> this was a requested anime, Toilet Coon Hanaka um Toilet Bound Hanaka Coon. Um I know nothing about this show. Um fellow YouTube viewer uh Anna or Anna Carolina requested this um and said it was really good and so I have no idea about it, but I am always up to try new things and to watch it. And the anime, the animation looks really, really cutesy, but it's about ghosts. So that's all I know is about a ghost haunting a bathroom. And so I'm really curious. The animation looks really unique and cutesy and shoujo-esque. So I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to react to it and we're going to just see how this goes. Um, I did ask her whether or not to watch the dub or the sub. I am not a hardcore sub or hardcore dub person. I mean, I grew up watching all of the dubs that were on Toonami and Cartoon Network as a kid for different anime, so I'm used to dubs. Um, it wasn't until I got into college when I started seeing anime with, sub, with subs and the original Japanese voice actors. And so I'm really, I'm not picky one way or the other, but there are a couple of shows that I definitely prefer one or the other to. And so I asked her her advice and she said to definitely watch the sub because they sound younger, she said, which I'm assuming these are, are high school kids. So we're gonna watch the sub. <laughs> so we're just gonna dive right into this. I hope you guys enjoy. With a title like Toilet Bound Hanaka-kun, the, the title just throws me off so much and it might just be my own cultural kind of like view of when I hear the word toilet in a title, it seems like it's bad. So I don't know, but um, we're just going to watch it and we're going to see how it goes. So without further ado, this is episode one of Toilet Bound Nakakun. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. Okay, cool. I actually really like this show so far. I, we've not had very much world building. We just know Hanako. He's a ghost. He's a couple decades old. He's not been there long then. So, and he has all these intricate little trinkets and he can grant a wish if you pay a price for it, which somehow she's able to grant, ask him. He makes a comment that not many people can get a hold of him. So I wonder why she's so special in that regard. Um, I just re reviewed and reacted to Nozaki-kun, and it's funny that I just watched that show because um, Yashiro reminds me a lot of Sakura from Nozaki-kun. She's like the stereotypical shoujo, like she's just in love with the idea of this guy and not the actual person. And what takes Sakura like a whole season to figure out, Yashiro kind of figures out in a day <laughs> in this episode, which is great. I'm glad we've already set that up. But man, okay. So there's clearly ghosts that can do harm in this world. The mermaid is kind of a like a demon or a ghost. And Hanako has his little steak knife and he has his weapon to take care of them. So I'm guessing we're gonna have more of that. Um, but now they're, they're bonded together. And so she can touch him as a ghost, but they're bonded and he just seems like he wants companionship. So I'm really curious where this goes to. But, and then we have the blonde boy, um, Omiko, who says he likes somebody but hasn't told us who that is. So, I don't know. I, I'm i really pleasantly surprised by this episode because I had no clue what to expect. But Hanako is adorable. Like, he's creepy and he's cutesy and he's a ghost. And so it's, it's, it's checking off all my character boxes um, that I like in a protagonist. I guess he would be the protagonist of Minyashiro. Um, but yeah. I'm digging it. Okay. For having no clue what this was going to be about, and this episode just barely taps into the world itself in this school, there's obviously six other, other wonders, which I'm assuming are ghosts um, or demons or some kind of supernatural being. And so I guess we're going to get some of that in this season that now since she can... I wonder if she, since Yashiro can touch Hanako, can she interact with other ghosts if that's going to be a thing? that she can actually interact with them and, and physically touch them. So that'll be neat to see. And also what those two little, those two little orbs that follow Hanako around kind of remind me of Soul Eater a lot. And so I'm curious how that will incorporate 
into things. So what they do, why they're blue and why they're red. But yeah, yeah guys, this is pretty cool. I'm really excited to see the next episode now and to see where the show goes. So awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Um, there's a full length version that's gonna be on Patreon, but if you wanna see that, but otherwise, let me know below what you think too. If you like the show so far as well, um, please no spoilers if you've watched this show before because I have no clue going into this what to expect. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. All right. Well, um, until next time, guys, we'll see episodes two soon. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate all of your support and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Stay safe and take care. Bye.